Hey everyone, so today I wanted to drop in and do a quick math curriculum review. We are really loving this Math with Confidence by Kate Snow. Um, I am teaching four different levels of it right now, which is so fun. Um, and that tells you how easy it is to teach. So they come with instructor guides and the guides are hefty. But why are they hefty? They're hefty because they clearly lay out what you need to say. So if you've done good in the beautiful, you like just being spoon fed what to say, you would really like this. Um, it's also um, less wordy than good in the beautiful. We struggled with good in the beautiful because I felt like I was giving a language arts lesson in mathematics. And it was just a lot. It was very colorful and playful, which I did like, but it was too much. And um, it kind of started accelerating really quickly in the older grades, which I don't know, it, was, it just wasn't clicking anymore, but I did love it for kindergarten. Um, so we wanted to try something else. We tried Matthew C. I did love Matthew C for first grade for one of my girls, um, but also just wanted to try something else the next year. <laughs> and so we tried Math with Confidence. My, my two um, third graders were struggling with their multiplication. So I had a friend recommend um, Kate Snow's multiplication practice books that are on Amazon and those were super cute we did them and I thought okay I really like how this girl how she draws out her processes and like how she makes it fun and it's interactive and I just looked up some reviews of this curriculum and everyone said really good things so we tried it and we've been doing it for six months now and all my kids really really enjoy um, math with confidence and I teach again my fourth graders level four my second grader level two and excuse me my kindergartner is doing level one she just graduated halfway through the year because she just like zips through math so freaking fast it's her subject 100% she loves it um but you know I have a girl my second grader my middle child, she does not like math. So this is another reason I really enjoy this curriculum because even my child who doesn't really like math does fine with this curriculum. And um, I just think that she has done a fabulous job with simplifying mathematics so that you understand how to teach it as a parent and it's not frustrating for the student. And if it is, then it gives you several different chances to understand that concept. And if your child has understood that concept, you just skip that section and go on to the next concept. So let me kind of explain that for a second. Let's go into fourth grade math so I can show you guys. So my fourth graders just started part B. Um, I'm not gonna be doing like a breakdown of each level, just so you guys know, like this is just a very general overview of the curriculum, but maybe down the road I'll do like a more thorough breakdown of like what they're going to cover in each level. Okay, so let's go over this. I don't know if she does this in level three because we haven't done level three yet, but in level two, um, it's also similar and kindergarten and first grade. So you have one sheet where you are teaching the lesson, lesson activities. So it will have you do a little warm up. Sometimes it's a game. That is something we really enjoy about this Math with Confidence too, is there are these games and activities you can play in each lesson. And if you want to do that, great. If you don't have time or if your kid doesn't enjoy the game interactive side, they just want to get it done, you can just skip that game. But um, we do do the warm up because it's simple. Sometimes it is with like flashcards or sometimes money or sometimes a a moving clock um, and then sometimes it's just hey how many days are there in the year how many seconds are in a minute you know so anyways going back to this lesson activities is one page and then your next page and it will say like lesson 9.1 and so you would pull that up because it says lesson 9.1 you would pull that up in your instructor guide and manual, you would flip to the exact lesson. So there's like 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3 3.4. We're going to go to 9 point lesson 9.3. Sorry about this. 9.1. Okay. So let me show you, for example, it will say your warm up. And then 
we do this little warm up. Sometimes if they already understand that concept, they can just skip through it. Or if they need more work on that concept, maybe you don't, maybe you just focus on that for the day. And then skip the stuff that they already know. Activity A. So you would go to activity A and you just read exactly what this says. Okay, you just read word for word what it says in that dark print. And then it walks you through how to do activity A. And then, and then it will go to activity B. And a lot of times your activity B, sometimes it'll be just another little activity that's just workbook, but sometimes it'll be a game. Like this one says length, length three in a row. So you would play this game. And the games can take like five to 10 minutes, or if you want to keep playing it over and over and over again, then it can be a long game. It's up to you. And then you'll have a review page or a practice. Sorry, there's a practice page and then a review page. So you'll have an activity, a lesson page, so your activity lesson page, then your practice page and a review page. Okay, so that's three pages for a lesson. It usually takes my fourth graders about 30 minutes to do math for the day. Sometimes we just do a math day where we do two lessons of that and then the next day for language arts we'll do two lessons of language arts. Um, or someday we get to all of it. I mean, kind of just depends on the day. So that is how she structures her lessons and the practice and the review. So let's talk about it. The, the lessons will bring up a concept, okay? And if, if they totally understand that concept and they've already learned it, then you can skip to, you obviously want to look in your book to make sure you're not skipping new concepts, but it's usually just one concept at a time. So this is units of measurement. So inches, feet, centimeters, things like that. Adding, adding feet and inches and learning how to compute the two. So if your kid is already really good at that, you would skip that section. You would skip, you would skip unit or um, lesson nine and you would go to lesson 10, which is, oh, there's also a unit wrap up at the end to make sure they understood. We don't usually do the unit wrap ups, but you can go to 10. And that will introduce a new. This one looks like it's going to be long division. So, and we did long division last year, but we are going to practice it again because we haven't been practicing long division. She hasn't really put it in there. Um, it hasn't really been in their rotation for the review section. And um, this concept, the concept that she uses in Math with Confidence is a combination of mastery and spiral, which I love. Um, we've done Saxon and Singapore math before, which... Saxon for sure is a spiral method, and it was really hard for me to teach that. I did not enjoy teaching it because I felt like I was constantly spitting out the same information and just teaching a little piece of new. And I didn't, it just never felt like I was introducing new concepts. They were doing old math that they knew really well over and over and over again. So I was constantly like crossing out like, okay, we've done this, we know this. Um, and so that lasted for like four months and that was when we first started straight up homeschooling my two oldest and i was like Ugh, it wasn't for us <laughs> so we moved on we've done some trial and error we tried good and the beautiful we tried matthew c i did consider teaching textbooks but instead we went to math with confidence and i'm so glad we did we really enjoyed it um, so again, you get your mastery concepts in your lessons like 9.1, 9.2, 9.3. And then you get that piece of spiral when you do your review. You kind of get the concepts that you've maybe studied before, but you need to brush up on. So I love this. It's a really good mix of the spiral and mastery concepts. It's really engaging because she's got the interactive activities that you can do. Um, and then... It's also, your instructor manual is not colorful, obvi, black and white, but look at it. Look how fun these are. They're color, but not too distracting. 
Oh, and <laughs> this is her own. <laughs> so I hope that was helpful. That was just a really general overview. Um, last thing I want to say is that some of her levels are split into an A and a B. We've done her kindergarten. That was not A and B. It was just one. It looks like first grade math that we just started last week. This one is not A and B either. Second grade is not A and B. It's just one book. Um, I haven't used three yet, but the fourth grade is A and B. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Probably soon I'll do a more thorough in-depth review of the different levels. But yeah, I hope you guys, I hope that was uh, informative. <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.